Sound for me, please. Go with me to the book of Acts, chapter 12, verse 5 to 7. Tonight is the night of prayer. We are going to pray. Acts, chapter number 12, verse 5 to 7. The Bible says so. Peter was kept in prison, but the church was earnestly praying to God for him. The night before Herod was to bring him to trial, Peter was sleeping between the two soldiers, bound with two chains, and sentries stood guard at the entrance. And the Bible says, suddenly an angel of the Lord appeared and the light shone in the cell and struck Peter on the side and woke him up. And quick, get up. And he said, and the chains fell off Peter's wrist. Sorry, in term. 
Tonight we are talking about prayer. Somebody say prayer. Oh, say prayer. Now, for some years, most of us, we found it difficult that why the Lord should invite us to pray. Why do we have to pray? Can't God do whatever He wants to do? Why are we even in the picture? Why are the events on earth related to our prayers at all? Why God want to involve men in the process? What really is the purpose of prayer at all? The reason is that the whole earth was given to man. In fact, God has given us the dominion over whatever he has created on this earth. And David confirms this in the book of Psalm when he spoke about the special position that man has in the plan of God. He says, what is man that you would even think of him? Man to have dominion over the works of your hands. And have put all things under his feet. Now, God created you and I to exercise dominion over whatever he has created. And God respects you and I. He respects the dominion that he has delegated to you and I. Now, God can never do anything among humanity until we invite him. God has a purpose to work out his world on earth through you and I. But without him, we cannot, and without us, God will not. Now, God wants us to pray to him before he comes to this earth. It is illegal and unscriptural for God to come to this earth and do anything among humanity. And it is only our prayer that can invite God to come to this earth planet. Prayer is a womb in which the purposes of God are built on this earth planet. Now, to be a Christian without prayer is like a sin against the Lord. A, a prayerless Christian is a powerless Christian. Now, the more you pray, the more you become the container of his presence. Tonight, in the next two minutes, we are going to pray unto the Lord. The Bible says, once upon a time, King Agrippa the first, he arrested some of the church members. And at that time, the church was at 11 years old. The Bible says he started persecuting the church. Now, as a new ruler, as a new king, he wanted to please his leaders. So the Bible says after killing James, he proceeded further to kill Peter also. But the Bible says the church was praying earnestly unto the Lord. Because the church was praying, God came and intervened on behalf of the church. Now tonight, if you and I can pray unto the Lord, the Lord will come into our situation. He will come and deliver us from the prison in which we find ourselves. Maybe you are in the prison of sickness. You are in the prison of bondage. You are in the prison of calamity. You are in the prison of barrenness. 
are in the prison of shame. But as we lift our voice and call on the name of the Lord, the Lord will come into our situation. Now, prayer is by bringing your strong argument before the Lord. Now, according to the book of Isaiah, chapter number 41, verse 21, it says, produce your cause, bring forth your strong argument before the Lord. Now, if you can bring your strong argument before the Lord tonight, Jesus will come into your situation. I said, Jesus will come into your situation and your life will never be the same. Maybe you are looking for the blessings of the Lord. I want you to lift up your voice and call on the name of the Lord. The Bible says, them that call on the name of the Lord, they shall be saved. Now, Jesus will never come into your situation until you lift your voice and call on him. Now, the Bible says, while we call on him, he will answer us. And even whilst we speak, you will hear us. Tonight, Mama, I came to challenge you that if you can lift your voice and call on the name of the Lord, the Lord will come into your situation in the name of Jesus. So the Bible says the church prayed and because they prayed unto the Lord, the Lord sent an angel. The Lord sent an angel. Now, angels are ministering spirit. Now, the Bible says they, the angel appeared even in the prison house and delivered Peter out of the prison. Now, tonight, if you can pray, the Lord will send an angel into your situation. I said the Lord will send an angel into your situation. And any darkness in which you find yourself in, the light of God will shine there in the name of Jesus. Now, I want you to stand on your feet. Just walk to this place. Come, come. We are going to pray because of time. Come, we are going to pray. In the name of Jesus. Oh, please run, run. Time is not on our side. Please. Lift up your right hand unto Jesus. I just want you to lift a prayer unto the Lord. Please run, 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 run. Come to this place. For this place. Please. Move to this side. Come, come. The cat when you will say Radiosu. A radius. A radiusu. A radius. An anarchy. An anarchy. Sama Massi. Sama Bomu Bompire. Ma who ordain. Masu Suma. Beneva Bompire. And Thomas one a jay. Awa yes to them. Yana Bompire will yes to them. Lift up your voice and pray. Lift up your voice and pray. Open your mouth. Open your mouth and pray. Clap your hands and pray. Clap your hands and pray. Clap your hands and pray. Bada 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 kon koska. Iko no 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 shaka na brata. Aya bali bini kapa. Iya no shaka brata koska. Ebi mu bompa ebi mu sindi akro. Use radio su. Ena na chi. Se mi bomi se bompa ya. Ma awote ya. Let me the agenda of your prayer move. Adi abom paya, Amramiso, Esansa, Sema abom paya, Mekwa ensovemo, Beti aradi, Enanajia, Ma awadia, Bini beti abom paya, Amramiso anaje, Ewa yesu demo. Mama, lift up your voice. Lift up your voice.